Being interrupted when you're working is annoying, and depending on the job being done, it can be downright dangerous. The same goes for interrupting service dogs at work. You see, service dogs are performing important functions for people with visible and invisible disabilities. And not all service dogs can be identified by a vest. They might be trained for lots of jobs, including assisting with everyday tasks like opening doors, picking up dropped items, or pushing emergency buttons. They might also be trained to calm children with special needs or create space around veterans to reduce their anxiety in public places. Which is why distracting a service dog in any way is not only disrespectful to the handler, it also makes their day a lot more difficult. That's why when you see a service dog, the most courteous thing you can do is actually nothing. Don't talk to the dog. Don't ask what the dog is for. Don't stare at the dog. Don't take pictures of the dog. Don't pet the dog. Don't ask to pet the dog. Don't call the dog to you. Just play it cool. Interact with the handler as you would with anyone else. And let the dog do its job. For businesses, it's against the law to prohibit service animals. Ask for documentation. Ask the dog to perform a task or inquire about the handler's disability. Staff may only ask two questions. One, is the dog a service animal required because of a disability? And two, what work or task has the dog been trained to perform? In the event that a dog is untrained or behaving inappropriately, a business owner may ask the handler and dog to leave. By following these common sense guidelines, we can make sure people with service dogs feel respected and help service dogs focus on their people and their very important jobs. This message was brought to you by Freedom Service Dogs of America, an Assistance Dogs International accredited organization.